over the years, I've been trying to find out just how good modern bikes are compared to bikes of yesteryear. This right here is one of the most important bikes of the last 20 years. So in this film, I'm going to recreate a classic 60s race bike from the ground up and pit it head to head against a modern state-of-the-art equivalent on a mission to find out just how much performance has changed over the decade. This is our blueprint, one of the most successful bikes of all time. Eddie Merckx's race bike from 1969, the year in which he began to cement himself in the history books as the cannibal. This is the bike, then, that we're going to painstakingly recreate. This is where the whole strength of the frame comes from. Well, the entire uh, group set on the bike would have been Campagnolo Nuovo record in 69. This is my bike, a Canyon Air Road. Matthew Van der Poel, one of the best cyclists around, also rides a Canyon Air Road. Here it is. There's no question that a steel bike defend, descends a lot better, a lot more stable. If when I was at my best, I could have ridden that and not that, I'd have won 70% more races. This is Simon and Garfunkel. My German canyon has got to be techno. It's now time for the test. This has totally surprised me. 